Damn, this is so long. <laughs> you know, this is already cross contamination. I get it. You know. I was gonna go in. It looks like Costco. You live inside of my head. This is I got beef. Hey. So today we are back for another video with me. Mm-hmm. As promised, because I know the last video I said I'm gonna have a video with Gerald. <laughs> yes, so sir. we're here. And like what we said in the title, we are cooking each other's ethnic dishes today. Mm -hmm. To give a little background, I'm Indonesian and then she is V and Chinese. Yeah, so I am actually Chinese ethnically, but culturally I think I'm Viet. Like I've 100% like identify as a Vietnamese, even though <laughs> in my blood I'm like Chinese because my parents, I'm pretty sure some of y'all parents are like Chinese, but they're born in Vietnam. So they're, they're raised in Vietnam and then like they immigrated here and they had children. So that's me. Yo, hey, yo, so this is Gerald. So unfortunately our camera did have some malfunctioning and we don't have the rest of this clip. But what he's trying to say is basically that both our parents are 100% Chinese that grew up in Vietnam and they raised her in the Viet culture. But without further ado, let's get into the bum bo hue and also the beef rendang cooking. But before that, come with us and go get our groceries with us. Hi everyone, so right now we are at OC Garden Grove. This is the Asian supermarket and we're about to buy some stuff to make bumbo hui. Bumbo hui. We were the homies too. Big gangin. They wanted to come along with the ride. Damn, this is so long. <laughs> what the f You got the most pinkest heart. Well, I could not <laughs> choose. Is this lemongrass? Yeah, that's lemongrass. Guys, this is lemongrass. We need six stalks of lemongrass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, perfect. Perfect. How do you know it's good? One on in the inside. Jason knows. I know Jason knows. Yeah, that one's good. That one's a good one. We need bones, beef bones, pork trotters, beef shank. So we can get that. We need yellow onion. I think this is yellow. It says yellow, my guy. What are you looking for now? I'm looking for some beef. Some beef? I got, I got beef shank. I don't know what that is. <laughs> look alive, look alive. Oh my gosh, he says hi. What's that? Oxtail. Love it. What else we need? Shrimp face. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Jason, pick it up. Stop it. <laughs> This is the bumbo way thick rice vermicelli. So good. So good. Oh, so good. So good. So good. What's going on? Uh. I'm buying this just in case. Okay. Joel, can you look for some shrimp paste? Yeah, we. Oh my god! I believe shrimp paste is here. Curry paste. Gotta be some paste. Some paste. Sure, I don't know how to read any of these. Let me no, get Jason. No, no. We found shrimp paste, but there's like a million options here. I don't know what to get, guys. Which one has a good shrimp paste? Hey, yo. What's a good shrimp paste? Come with me, come with me. Oh, over there, over there, over there. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Actually, that one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Salted shrimp paste. This one, guys. Word. This one is good. Okay, so what's next? Banana flour. <laughs> you know where banana flour is? I don't know. Is it is it an actual flour? Like, oh, it's, it's an actual so, yeah. flour. I yeah. thought you were talking about like flour, yeah, like, you know, oh, like. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's called. Banana bloom something? If I open this, will there be a bananas? No. Just kidding, this is a flower. Wait, Have you ever seen a banana flower before? What's that? I don't know, it's really good. Oh, yeah. Jason said this one's good. Okay, yeah, it is good. What'd you get? I have no idea. This is what I ate my balut with, though. It says do not enter. Wait, I was gonna go in. It looks like Costco. We're all bean good? Sprout, bean sprouts, bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Mm, right I love bean sprouts. It's my favorite. I can eat it all. <laughs> Pretty cheap. What the f 
What the? <laughs> Yo, coconuts! <laughs> Is it wrong with you? Can we get coconuts? Shopping success. Hi, so I am at an Indonesian market. This very, very tiny grocery store here. This is the closest one that we live. Got the groceries. Thank you, Tip Top Mart. I am so excited to cook beef rendang. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, put this beef over here one by one. You know, you gotta go like. Give it some love, so give it a little toss here and there. Uh. What? Next is gonna be the pork. You know, there's already cross contamination, but you know, you gotta you gotta throw it in with love. Yes, I'm making bumbo hue. Hue with my bumbo bay. So right over here we have our pork and then we also have our beef, our beef shank with oxtail, or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna let it cook for what like Five, ten minutes around there. Let it boil, let it, you know, release some goodness. So they have finished boiling, and uh, now we're just gonna go separate it into two different trainers. You know, you get a, a beef facial at the same time. Before you do that, actually, you also wanna go like save like a cup worth of like the beef water. Next, we have the pork, the pork feet, you know. Oh, uh, ooh. Don't do it. It's, it's really hot. Get a, and uh, a pig facial. A <laughs> pig facial and yeah. a beef facial. Yeah. Next I'm gonna wash it, so. so. Currently washing it, rinsing, rinsing it. So next I'm gonna bruise it, the lemongrass. Damn, who are you mad at? Shh. So I'm just gonna pour everything in. And then I'm gonna add more water. Next we're gonna add this onion. I'm gonna put it down this way, you know, like. Add a little more flavor. And then we have this, what is it called again? My mom just used to always put this lemon in grass. Hot food. Yeah, lemongrass. Next is gonna be the rock sugar. Oh, and then next is gonna be, Salt. Let's put it all over. You gotta use a little love, you gotta crust the meat a little, you know, like, it once had feelings too. <laughs> so we're gonna go put in soup and throw on high. It's been an hour since we simmered this, so I'm going to put, be putting the pork trotters into cold water to make the meat not black. Right, so I'm just gonna do a... Yeah, it's like thin slices. Oh, look at that medium rare. Thin sliced layers. We are going to soak these noodles yeah. in water. They need to be soaked for 30 minutes and then boiled for another 30 minutes. Yeah, what she said. We just added more water in this pot because like half the water decreased. We're gonna go put in the shrimp paste. I'm gonna go, pew. Oh. Look at that tornado. Woo. A tornado flew around my A room, room before, before it came. Excuse me. While we have this boiling still for like an hour, we put some oil inside this pot. And next, what we're gonna do is garlic. We got the shallots next. Look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. The lemongrass. But look at that shimmer. Add MSG and bumbo hui seasoning. Chili flakes. Make sure the heat is off. Okay. 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 Look at that. Look at that. She okay. So she's a little excited right now and she wanted to go pour it in herself. So I'm letting her. So we got fish sauce. Ooh. Now we're going to make citrus water because we're cutting up banana flour. I bet you've never seen this before because I haven't. But basically the banana flower gets very like brown right away and it needs like citrus to make it not brown. We're cutting up the banana flower. Um, didn't even know this was a thing too. As soon as you cut it, apparently it turns brown. So you have to go put it inside some lemon water. So we just saw this on TikTok. The shrimp paste. 
diluted with like hot water. It's been sitting for like 30 minutes. And then I'm just gonna pour it in. Oof. Yeah, we're just gonna dump all of our beef, shank. Okay. Sheesh. This is the final presentation. I wish you can see it. All right, Oof. so first taste test of the bumbo hui. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Pretty good. This right here. This is busting. How would you describe the taste? Flavorful. It's like some flavorful spicy beef. Spices in there, some little citrus. We have some lemongrass so you can like taste some of the, the aromatics. We have like some. Mm. This is so good. All right, so you try this now. Remember the taste. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make some beef rendang, okay? Hi, so we just finished eating the bumbo way and now we are making beef rendang. Rendang, but I'm making it because he made the bumbo way. Yeah. <laughs> Beef rangdang is an Indonesian curry. It's a spicy curry. So, and it's also like my favorite Indonesian dish. So I'm super excited <laughs> to be making it. So I'm watching an Indonesian chef cook beef rangdang and step one we have to puree the spices so we got all the spices right here and i'm going to puree it so in the puree includes the shallots garlic so i don't know how to peel ginger so don't make fun of me so i'm just gonna like cut it till like you know so in here i have chopped gingers and literally like all the chilies i think i might die from spices gonna be so good. Cordon and pods, galagal powder, cumin, nutmeg, and cinnamon powder. It's all the spices for you. You're supposed to use a food processor, but <coughs> we don't have one. So I'm just going to be using this beast blender. Beast, beast, beast. Here we go. It's not blending. What do we do? Shake it, shake it. I don't know exactly how to cut beef, but this beef looks really cute. Look. The marbling. This is from Whole Foods. I just want to give us some love, just like how Joe gives give the beef earlier today. Also, I just sharpened the knife, so it cuts so much easier. So, y'all, if you guys ever like, like I feel like a dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife in the kitchen, to be very honest. TMI, but like my favorite part of the beef is the fat. Oh, that's really bad for you, but I just love it. Okay, now you put all the spices in here and you're supposed to cook it for like seven to eight minutes Wait for it to brown a little before you put in the beef Gerald is cooking rice while this mixture is getting hot Next we add the beef Put it all inside So yeah, we add the beef in Next we're adding coconut milk It has like a coconut base So we're adding it in and then for the sweetness, you want to add some tamarind paste. I have tamarind concentrate. So this is going to give like a little sweetness to the mixture. And then to balance everything out, a generous tablespoon of brown sugar. You want to mix it all in. So I'm putting some finely chopped lemongrass in here. And now we have to wait like two hours for this whole mixture to like do its thing. Two hours later. Okay, skinnies. Beef rendang. Looks really good. Reduce cinematic short. Oof, oof, oof. This looks good. Basically, you know it's done when it's like all the curries evaporated. But ignore the fact that it's almost 12 a.m. We had a long day cooking. Indonesian fun fact. Mee goreng is from Indonesia. Like, I didn't know that until I dated Gerald. And I was so like... You mean Indomie? I know it as mee goreng. It's from Indonesia. So basically, I put some kaffir leaves. This is lime leaves as a garnish. When I was hanging out with Gerald's family, they introduced me to colored tapioca crackers. What is it called? Grupu. Grupu. Something like that. Grupu. It's so good, and I went when I was at the Indo market today, I found it, and I had to get it. When I first met Gerald's family, his mom gave me this tea. It's so good. I don't know what it's called. Do you know what it's called? Dekotak. Dekotak. 
Tecotac is so good. And I found the big version at the Indo Market. And I, I didn't even know this it. was there was a thing. I know. I was like, what? Yeah, I'm so excited. Mmm, my favorite. Mmm, that is good, good, good. Fire. This is what it looks like. Ta-da! Well, if you want to watch my TikTok, it's at Wendy Skin. I do a lot of short form content too. Wait, like, at least push it back for the YouTube. Three, two, one. What are we trying making this? It's like close, but like the far still. It's not as spicy. Next not time. spicy at all. So what is your final verdict, Gerald? The bumble hue was um, a lot better. <laughs> the bumble hue was authentic. This one, uh, we're pretty far. And then like the flavor's like not everywhere inside the beef. Should we end it? Mm -hmm.